about to head out and we're going to fly up north over the lakes region a little bit and take a look to see if the foliage is starting to turn at all um, in the mountains. White Mountains are just south of White Mountains. Maybe the Sandwich Mountains, Osby Mountains. Then we'll come back and fly over the lake a little bit. Beautiful day out today. Oh, a lot of Canadian geese there. I have to keep an eye out for them. I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but there are probably a hundred of them alongside the runway. So we got B16 Whiskey Romeo departing runway 26 straight out to the west, Laconia. Laconia traffic, Super B16 Whiskey Romeo on the roll, runway 26, there are some dead geese on the runway, Laconia. Snapjet 584 is turning left base, uh, runway 26, Laconia. Just letting you know again, about first thousand feet of the runway, there's two or three jet geese uh, laying on the runway. All right, thanks. We'll be watching. Hey, that traffic that was reporting those dead geese on the runway at Laconia, uh, where are they? Do you know where they're located on the runway? In the center of the runway, about the first thousand feet down. Okay. Now, Jet Jet 584 is uh, final now, uh, 26 uh, Laconia. And airport manager, Jet Jet 584. Yeah, this is the airport manager. Yeah, you can't miss them. You'll see them right there at the end of the runway. It's about 500 feet uh, off the end, uh, just in that in that black section of uh, the runway there. All right, thank you very much. Yep. We'll take a look down here in Meredith. Uh, again, not a lot of foliage. You see a little bit of yellow starting to form in some of the leaves, but not much more than that. So we go down here in Meredith Bay. A little bit cloudier out than I thought today. Yeah, it looks like, at least in the lakes region, we're going to be a little bit longer before we start seeing some foliage. I'm not really surprised. There's a little bit off my right wing of some trees, again, in low, probably a wet area. And we are entering into Meredith Bay. Looks like a beautiful, idyllic little town here. That's Wakiwan Lake off to my uh, 10 o'clock here. Let's turn some landing lights off. Do our cruise checklist. There's Squam Lake over here on my right. And right off my 3 o'clock is Red Hill. Right off my 11 o'clock are the windmills associated with the uh, Plymouth area. I may fly up around them today. There's a golf course here. I think that might be Wakiwan Golf Course. Uh, you can see in that kind of marshy area there is some reds and, and kind of faded greens to yellows a little bit. So we're starting to see a little color uh, in the marshlands. Particularly as they start to go further north I see a little bit more of it to climb up here maybe to 3,000 feet because we may start getting some winds coming off these hills. Mount Washington is in the clouds when I did my weather briefing today. Definitely feeling that wind out of the west. I can see the Plymouth Airport in front of me, one Papa one. Well, I really can't see it. It's that in that area of white clouds, low-lying fog. Going to 3,500 feet here. Just again to get over these hills a little bit better. Avoid some of the wind. Again, even of up over here by Squam, not seeing a lot of colors yet. All right, going to level off here at 3,500 feet. Yeah, the mountains off to the right. They still look mostly green. Again, you can see a little bit of a faded, faded green to yellow. I suspect maybe two, three more weeks, so we'll really start seeing some colors. Below me is Route 93. To my right is up toward the Mount Washington Valley area. You just see over the ridge here, about my 10 o'clock, uh, Newfound Lake. There's the Pemigewasset River just below me, winding its way south. Right off my nose is one pop of one. I could not take a look at it. Uh, based on these winds, I think I'm going to skip it. Well, that's a nice view of Squam Lake and Winnipesaukee beyond that. I'm going to head back toward that direction. 
Well, it's calm at the surface here at uh, One Papa One. It's getting a little bumpy up here, and we're in some tight mounds. I'm just going to move south. Really wanted just to check out more of the foliage today. Yeah, even these low-lying hills in the Sandwich Mountain area, they are all still green for the most part. Just a little bit of color coming in, but not much. I think we're going to fly right over Squam here first. Very forested land here. You're going to see how uh, Squam is really tucked in uh, to the mountains here, just north of it. Pretty steep mountains that come down and drain right into the lake. You can see off my left at about uh, 10 o'clock this kind of bowl-shaped ridge that just kind of falls down toward Guam. So this lake is where the movie on Golden Pond was filmed back many years ago, probably 30 years ago now or so. Uh, it was filmed mostly on Squam, a little bit on Wanapasaki. I'm going to fly along the uh, northwest ridge of the side of the lake here. Yeah, looking at the water down there, there's quite a bit of a breeze. You can see it just rippling on the on the water. Off to my um, two o'clock here is Red Hill. Kind of dark looking. Probably not getting to see the greatest views here, based on the fact that I'm going into the sun. So I went camping over here back uh, about a week ago, just a week ago, um, in the Sandwich Mountains. So we're entering a big valley area with the White Mountains kind of straight up to the north of me, to the left of Sandwich, the Ossipi over here on the right, and Red Hill just off to my right. Matter of fact, I can see the tower oh, at about my 3, 4 o'clock at this point. The um, Red Hill Tower, Fire Tower. Trying to see where I was uh, camping somewhere close by here. There's the center, center, uh, center of Sandwich, which was where I went from there. Might be that field up there on my left at about my 9 o'clock. i going to take a right here, head back toward Sandwich. Definitely feel the bumps as we get near these mountains. Looking down below me, right below me is uh, kind of a marshy area. And it's definitely has some trees that have all turned. Again, because it's kind of a wetland area, that's typically what you can see. In front of me is the Ospi Ring Dike or Ospi Mountain Range. It's basically a big vo extinct volcano, very circular in nature. Off my one o'clock is Homeboro Airport, right below me. Landed there a few times. We'll drop down a little bit to get a little bit better view. Also, getting out of the mounds or heading out more to the lake. And right off my 11 o'clock, you can see Homebrew Airport. As we get a little bit lower here, feeling the bumps. Got to get the lap seatbelt on nice and tight for this. Get ourselves slowed down a little bit. There's Route 109. Golf course here off my left. And just taking a look at this golf course here. It's in excellent shape. There's a few people out there golfing this morning. Gorgeous day for it. Here we are, I think, on the... Yes, here we are on the back side of Moultonboro Neck Road. Or I should say, on the back side of Moultonboro Neck. All works its way out uh, to the main body of the lake out here. There's Route 171 off my uh, left. And matter of fact, there is Castle in the Clouds. I'll just kind of swing over here. They catch it off my nose. Again, pretty bumpy in this area, but we will just kind of do one circle around it. There it is right off my 12 o'clock. There's Castle in the Clouds right there. A lot of rock, rock ledge there. There's a beautiful field to land in if I needed to. Always keep my eyes out for fields 
emergency fields to come down in if I needed to. Or if I lost the engine. Beautiful resort facility here, golf course. Nice boathouse out there. Water's pretty shallow out there in some spots. You can really see the rocks showing through. Long Island Bridge here, and Long Island right off my nose. Drexler's Marina right down there on the right about at 2 o'clock. Do a couple turns here. I've got a friend that lives in this little bay area. I don't think they'll be out at this time, but kind of wave, wave a wing here for them. Well, I'm going to climb a little bit to maybe 3,000 feet here. Just if you want to go across the broads, I like to have a little bit more gliding space. Just a gorgeous day. The wind definitely feels more out of the west versus southwest here. Basically, I can see my plane crabbing across um, from west to east. There's Rattlesnake out there on my 11 o'clock. Bear Island off my 3 o'clock. Mark and Timber Island out there right at the end of uh, Bear Island. Yeah, just do a nice pan here across the lake here in the broads. Water's just shimmering today. Beautiful. Just a beautiful day out here. There's one boat out in the water. That's yeah, a couple. One looks like a fun boat. One looks like a work boat. I think we're going to make our way back to the airport. is really hitting up the uh, islands in this view. Nice and bright off here my uh, two o'clock. Kind of a lazy, relaxing flight today. Haven't been able to fly as much in this plane lately because of uh, other responsibilities. Nice to get out here. I was hoping we'd see a little bit more color, but not yet, which I should be appreciative of. Super Cup 816 Whiskey Romeo turning left base 26, full stop, Laconia. Well, we didn't see a lot of color out there today, but had a great flight. It was an enjoyable flight. It uh, wasn't too bad in terms of winds. Got to go up to one Papa One, didn't land there, but I got to see some of the scenery up in the mountains of a uh, the edge of the White Mountains, as well as the Sandwich Mountains, and the Ospie Mountains, and some of Lake Winnipesaukee. Anyways, hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you get notified of my next video.